This video is sponsored by HP. Hey guys, I'm somewhere in Manhattan, just finished a briefing, but I've got to pack up and head to the airport soon for something you may or may not have heard of, a mileage run, which means I'm flying to Miami and then flying back, which means I'll be on the road or in the air all day, the perfect opportunity to test out the HP Envy Laptop 16. HP's Envy line of PCs are designed for users who need a bit more power and performance, including creative professionals like me. HP says these are computers for creatives, designed by creatives. Now, as promised earlier, this video will be all about what it's like to use the HP Envy Laptop 16 out in the real world, but first, let's talk about some highlights. Think of the HP Envy Laptop 16 as the perfect Windows laptop for the creator on the go. It runs Windows 11 Home. Mine is powered by a 12th gen Intel i5 processor and has Intel graphics. But souped up models go all the way up to an Intel i7 with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics. It comes with 16 gigabytes of memory, a 512 gigabyte solid state drive, and a 16 inch WQXGA display. It has a lot of ports, including two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, a full-sized HDMI 2.1 port, two USB-A ports, there's one here and another on the other side, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader. Last but definitely not least, it's designed on the Intel Evo platform. Make sure to look for this sticker. Now, what does this badge mean? Well, for one, the laptop features 12th gen Intel Core processors, which deliver superior performance when you need it the most. You can even keep your other apps running in the background while you work on power intensive tasks, which for me is all the time. It's also got built-in Wi-Fi 6E technology, so if you have a Wi-Fi 6E connection at home, your connection can be nearly three times faster. Perfect for downloading the first season of Wednesday on Netflix ahead of my flight, or installing large apps or games like the Adobe Creative Suite or Forza Horizon 5. Finally, there's all-day battery life and super fast charging. More on that later. In case you're wondering, while 16-inch laptops are usually on the larger side, the HP Envy Laptop 16 is still small enough to fit into a 20-liter Peak Design backpack. All right, so we're on our way to the airport, and I figured some of you might not know what a mileage run is. It's something that frequent flyers need to do at the end of the year if they realize that they don't have enough points or miles to re-qualify for their airline status. I need one more flight, so I'm flying to Miami and back. It's about three hours each way, plus about two hours at the airport. It's about an eight hour day. So it's not to waste any time, especially on this work day. I'm taking along my HP Envy Laptop 16 with me to get some work done, check some emails, and write a lot of scripts. I breezed through security and found my way to the lounge so I could get back to work. Before we begin, let's do our first battery check. Great, it's just past 1 p.m. and I still have 91% for this trip. Right, so while traveling can be stressful, this time away from my home office gets me into the mood to chomp away at my to-do list. I got a lot done at the lounge actually, but then... Two very boring minutes later. I know I said I was gonna work, but hey, that's the semi-final of the World Cup, so can't miss it. I was super thrilled that I owned the 16-inch model of the HP NV laptop, so I had a large screen to watch the game on. This particular model has an IPS screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Let's just say it was perfect for enjoying Messi scoring the winning goal before I had to board my flight. Actually, I'm exaggerating. Bro, what are you talking about, man? After I left the lounge, Argentina's Alvarez scored two more goals for his team. This trip to Miami will take three and a half hours. And after meal service, I went straight to work on some scripts. Actually, I did a bit of online shopping first. Because Argentina made it to the World Cup Finals, I tried to see if I could find some last minute Argentina jerseys, which luckily I was able to do. But yes, I did work too. What's it like using the HP Envy Laptop 16 on a plane? Comfortable, actually. The screen was bright and vibrant. The keyboard was nice and comfortable. And even with its size, it still managed to fit on my tray table. 
Granted, I was in domestic first class, but they should fit decently on any tray table, even in coach. I worked on my laptop for the remainder of the flight until I spotted this gorgeous sunset outside my window. Soon after, we touched down in Miami and straight to the lounge I went for some din din. I made it to Miami. I wanted to do two things. After using the computer for about three hours on the plane, it's time to do a battery check, yeah? After using the laptop for about three hours on the plane, we're currently at 53%. I also wanted to do a camera test so that you could see what the quality of video calls are like using the built-in web camera on the HP NV16. Video calls should both look and sound good thanks to a five megapixel camera with auto frame and AI noise reduction. So I took the opportunity to hop on a call with my producer Chai about our next day's filming schedule. By the time I boarded my second flight, I was pooped. I do not know how I used to take a hundred flights a year. So I leaned back my chair and decided to watch some old iJustine YouTube videos instead. Thankfully, plain Wi-Fi was fast enough to support video streaming. I didn't even need to touch the Netflix episodes I downloaded. Soon, it was home sweet home. The captain said the weather was perfect, so enjoy these incredible nighttime aerial views of Manhattan. I was about to go straight to bed, but I remembered I had one more battery check to do. At 1.05 a.m., I still had 18% battery left. After a full day of travel, surfing the internet, working on lots of scripts, and streaming a lot of videos, thanks to Intel Evo, the HP NV lasted me a whole day of use with some charge left over in the tank. Which means if you're going to be out all day, you can leave your charger at home. Also thanks to Intel Evo, it's got fast charging built in too. I got 25% in 10 minutes, 78% in an hour, a full charge took me one hour and 55 minutes. And that is what it's like to use the HP Envy Laptop 16 out in the real world. If you like videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.